from the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. From the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Asian Stuka Championships of 2024. Host nation Qatar, Doha welcomes the fans in attendance and to the fans around the world. Well, it's time to meet the players from Afghanistan. Father, how are you today? Thank you so much. And on behalf of Caterpillar Federation, we wish you all the best. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honour to introduce to you, Pankhas. How are you? Fine. Thank you, Paul. Always nice to be back in Qatar, Doha. And how do you feel for this title? Yeah, it's my first match. I mean, it's a long way to go. There's some excellent players in the field and looking forward to starting off my campaign in good style. Let's see how it goes. Wow, well, congratulations. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start. Let the game begin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Asian Snooker Championships of 2024. The host nation, Qatar Doha, welcomes the fans in attendance and to the fans around the world. If you've just joined us, I just quickly got here. So it looks like a foul has been made. Four points to Pangash. Well, first of all, congratulations to Qatar for the Asian Snooker Championships and all the players are all excited here to get that title who will be crowned champion just gonna have to wait and see and the official table is a Raka classic m1 so they're the official table for the tournament and also we have Qatar Airways as well then we'll be talking about the sponsorship during the tournament So it's going to be interesting in this match to see how Pankash is, is settling. What, what a great opportunity now for this young man to come in and do a nice sizable break. A long way to go, best of seven. Yes, it is important to get a good start. Pink. 
I'm, I'm surprised here. Okay, it's, it's, it's straightforward, but it's going to go. I think it might go back on the spot. Let's have a look. Put the greens available. Oh, it does go on the spot, so that's well played. The green is nicely over the pocket as well, just in case of the break falls down. So settled in straight away. And it's black. I have seen the miss today. Very confident start going high on the black. Wow, the plant has been thought out. Fantastic. He knew the plant was there. And the pink will nicely go back on its spot and prime position. This is a great outcome so far from this young man. Oh, what a miss. Uh, that will go down as an easy opportunity. I've often said the easy ones are the hardest ones, and that pink was so easy. Took his eye off the ball. With 20 points in it, there's plenty of table uh, points on the table here. As you can see, the formality red for Pankash into the corner. Nicely done. Overran it slightly. He didn't want to be there, I can assure you. He wanted to come back at least a foot. So the, the table's quickening up out there. In the early session this morning at 10 o'clock, it was a bit slow. And all of a sudden, we're seeing the misses now. We'll be disappointed missing that opportunity there to start break building and get the nice frame going. Because they're all in the open. And when you have opportunities like that, you must pop them. You can't allow your opponent to come back through an unforced error. And Cash, all of a sudden... And slowing down his pace. He wants to get off to a good start. I've noticed that today from players. That is the group stages. They certainly want to get off to a good start. Will he attack the cluster? There's plenty of the reds in the open. I don't think he will, but we'll just have to wait and see. He's got the angle to come off nice into the cluster.
So the extension for the queue. Very nicely done. Ta not taking any chances. Players tend to do that in the first frame. Not take any risk. High risk. So and go into the cluster. Want to get a nice build up a lead. And then the risk starts, comes in to the game. So this red. Not too sure which way he wants to go. Into the middle. or take it to the green corner. Will be disappointed missing that, but he's okay. Good fortune. Hiding the red behind the yellow, so it's okay. Very clever shot, trying to get the cue ball in behind the green. Just underpaced it a little bit. Just needed a bit of confidence. When players get a bit of confidence, they find their game. And all of a sudden, if they haven't got the confidence, their game is not up to anywhere near their standards. So they try so hard. That's a good shot there. Open up all the cluster. Nicely in behind the brown. I'm looking at the monitor. I'm looking at the other cameras at angles as well. I feel that it does go through past the brown. So if that's the case, this red, no. From that monitor, it's telling me no. There's a very difficult shot to get this safe. Did you see how he's pointed his cue? He, he's trying to further the cue ball in between the gap of those cluster of reds on the right-hand table. There it goes. But he's just caught the red. And that will be a big mistake. A human error has crept in. Having time at the table, which is so important. Wants to come a little bit lower, and that's perfect. Very well controlled cue ball. 
He's making it look easy. It's down to the hundreds of hours of practice and focus to make it look easy. And off the table, such an incredible person as well. Lovely gentleman, and Cash is. Wow. Now, had a slight kick there. We'll have the cue ball cleaned. I have seen this today. The cue ball has kicked a couple times. But to be fair, this is the first time I've seen the cue ball cleaned on this table so far. And even in the morning session, there was one or two kicks. So. Have to be careful with that one. But already queuing very, very well. And the scores are starting to slip away now. The points on this frame, even though that 20 point lead. And the pink and the green are not going to be playing much of a part in this match. Very determined, Pankash, to get a good frame here. Get a good start in the group sessions. I'm looking for any changes in his game. I have commentated on his games many times over the years. And I'm looking for changes, see if he's improved on certain areas of his game. And he's always developing. He's always pushing himself. To do the best he can. And always remember the table changes the game as well. How the table is running. The atmosphere. The arena. And I can assure you it's very cold in the arena. The AC is on. It is very cold but the table is heated. So the change of the game does take place. Cupel speeds up and slows down. Depends on the conditions out there. Look at the determination. If I've seen any change so far in his game, it's determination. He is determined to win this game. He's not giving anything away to his opponent. He knows that this red and black. And he's got to work at the next two reds. He's just working out the points. Is he looking for an angle to bring the red off the cushion after this black? We'll soon find out. He got it. Perfect. Oh, it, from this camera angle, I thought he had the angle to screw into the red. So he's going to come off the cushion. No. Perfect. Well, he's played very well so far. Very strong attacking this break. 67 plays 24 already. With that miss red, there is hope in this game. Forty three in it. Wow, that was a very attacking shot.
But has he left it in the corner? No, it's too risky to go through the pink and the green. That is too risky. So this red now. Good fortune. Oh, just caught the knuckle. And now the game is completely changed because of that misread. Wow, he will be disappointed. He didn't want the cue ball there. He wanted it lower so he can run it up to the next red above the balk line. So this black will be a disappointment knowing the safety was only there, but yeah, we can assure you he wanted to go lower to take the cue ball back up the balk line because it was all there. Now how? Oh, it goes through the pink. So an unforced error. Now Pankash is just checking the score here. Very clever. Working out. But it does go past the pink. So he will be disappointed in that safety shot. Oh! <gasps> Unbelievable. He's hit the pink. Now the whole game changes now. See what happens. So that's a much better safety shot this time. Thirty six points in it. Twenty seven on the table, snook is required. He has to hit this yellow. And a miss. He's missed the yellow. And if he hit the blue. Thirty-two points the difference. Twenty-seven on the table. Still need snookers. Where is he going to find the snooker here? That's not strong enough. I'm a no, it's just creep past the black, I'm afraid. Very nicely done. And with the blue tied up, it's going to be a very, and the pink as well, it's going to be very difficult get, getting snookers from this position. Frank Cash will be happy to see that blue on the cushion. He took the yellow on. Wow, what a shot that was. That's a great shot. So difficult. The, the, it was the way he played it. He, he's played it with pace and control. And yeah, it's going to be so difficult. So the game has been surrendered. We will take a commercial break. Join us very shortly.
the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. Above the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Asian Snooker Championships of 2024, host nation Qatar Doha. Welcomes everybody around the world. Fahid has to somehow dig in deep. Human errors have crept in. Nice break earlier, but the reality is the safety play is letting him down. We have to see if his safety will strengthen. Very important in the best of seven is to get a good start. Good fortune just crept there from the brown and behind the yellow to stop the path of that red going into the corner. One thing I've learned about snooker, the strategy, the chess game is so important. And we were talking about the conditions in the arena, how they vary. And it does take effect on the table. But this red... Oof, into the jaws of the pocket. But now Fahid has got a golden opportunity to start break building. Yes, he can pop them. He's more than capable. But he's got this opportunity. Not too sure here. Is he looking to play the pink after? He's had a good look. Does it go past the cluster of red? But for me, start break building. I have to be careful with the black, though. Looking for the black spot. He should be okay. If he's going to play for the black next. But wait a minute. That. Does the pink go to the middle? He doesn't want the cue ball there. And this pink is going to be so difficult. He's going into a blind pocket here. Can't afford to roll it. He has to hit it firm. He has to be careful with the in-off as well. Yeah, and that was the danger. He knew the in-off was there as well. So he's played high. And playing high, you're going to miss the pocket. So it was a two-way shot. So the safety has allowed Pankash to come in with this opening red to the corner. Beautiful shot. That is so difficult to do. It looks easy. You're in that environment out there. He's having the white ball clean. That's the first time I've seen a player have it clean twice 
in a match so far. You don't often see the cue ball cleaned all the time. So there's green. Yeah, he's looking for the angle to come behind the black. He's trying to get that black back on the spot. He wants to get down low. Get the red out the way. The brown's the option as well. I think that's the better option. He is going for the brown. That will give him the angle to come around. And that's what it's about. Perfect. Look at the bounce. And he's getting used to the table. We talked about table conditions, how they change. They change on the pool table as well, very dramatically, because of the moisture. But this heated bed on the snooker table completely helps the cue ball on the snooker table. And that is very good shot. That, that's a very clever shot. He's just checking now. So let's see where that black's going to be respotted. I think he's okay. Clever shot. So he's going up for the bulk line now. So he's just checking. Does the black go on the spot? Yes, it does. So there was enough room there. It was a bit this busy this evening sometimes because we can't see the spot. <sighs> the easy ones are the hardest ones to pot. Now, this is an another opportunity. Got to go higher. Got to travel. It stopped, I'm afraid. I wanted to go higher for the blue into the middle. But this pink. I'm surprised. I'm not too sure if that was a two way shot, then play safe afterwards, but. Uh, Didn't even go close to the pocket. Oh, no, that's a very clever shot by, by Gash. Tap on the table from his opponent. That red is in the open. He's got a couple choices here. He can take the red to the middle. Uh, sorry, to the corner where the, where the pink spot is. Or he can take the outside red. Which way is he going to go? Yeah, he's going to take the outside. He's got to pot it. Yeah, that was a very difficult shot in the first place. This is what I love about snooker, the strategy. Not allowing your opponent to get and see anything easy. It's so difficult game to play in the tactical battle. Red is available. Will Pankash take the red to the corner? 
Absolutely. Because he knows the potting game. This is his strength as well as the tactical battle as well. But his potting is very strong today. That's why he took it on. But where's the cue ball? Straight into the heart of the cluster. Now. Yes, he can roll it off the black. But he has to be careful. He doesn't knock the red. To be seen for his opponent. And there's another shot. He's looking at hitting the yellow. But he's going for all the extension. Q extension. But yeah, it's good. He's, they call it the fishing tackle. So he's going to go there. Oh, he's... I, I'm surprised he doesn't use the swan neck here. Oh, he has got it. That's perfect. Has to be very careful. I call this the javelin. It's kind of like a javelin playing the shot here. Look at the extensions on the cue here. This is so difficult. But he's played that perfect. He really has. That was so difficult. reason why he's taking his time he knows that it's a very important shot it's not just get down and play the shot you're at the Asian Stuka Championships and you want to do really well so it's very important to get off to a good start he's left the red to the corner and there's only 10 points in it. Do I attack or do I play another safety shot? That's what he's asking himself. 10 points in it. Shall I start attacking the game? Get my pot in game. Right? Ah, this is a big miss that. And this is another. Where's the red? Wow. That was unbelievable. So good fortune from that red into the middle. Let's put Pangash into a, a controllable game. The 
the way he plays is so smooth. So determined. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't come high enough on the blue. So he's looking. Do you see how he's pointing the cue? He's indicating where he wants that alignment with that red. So he's just going to come more to the right. There you go. So he's got that perfect. He moved. He moved on his Q action, and that's why he's missed. Very consistent, but sometimes you tend to move, and you completely miss the shot. So he is a, he is a machine, but he just moved there. Now this is another opportunity. points in it and look at all the balls they're all in the open look at the determination but he will be disappointed knowing that he needed to come further or lower but is he on it well he's okay Nicely done. Now, that red below the black is going to play a major part. But right now, he has to pop the easy ones and get going. But he's once again, he's come, to, has he come high enough. This is such a difficult cut to the corner. Yes, he's going to the ball area, but the reality is this. He shouldn't be there. He's undercut it. Oh, it just knocked on the door. And that's what I'm talking about. That centimeter out here and there can cost you the frame. Now the cue ball is being cleaned again. There was a slight kick on the ball. I don't know. But I know one thing. Pankaj has got an opportunity to run away with this game. As his opponent missed that red. Very nicely done. Now, this red is starting to close the frame out. So the red behind the plaque will be a key red. Oh, it only just went in, knocked on the door. Sigh of relief there from Pankash. He, he knows that this is a tough match. Even though his opponent's missing, he's had opportunities. 
So now we're going to be coming very close to this red, which is going to play a major part. He needs a nice angle. From the black to get there. That's perfect. Just drop him behind it. There it is. So this red will start to clinch the game. And snickers are required. Oh, he's missed it. Another easy one from Pangash. He's missing the easy ones. They are the most difficult ones to pot on the table for him. Well, he wanted to come higher there on the black. It's very important to get some points and get some snookers. And that was the problem. And the disappointment there, watching the white go in. Join us very shortly. We'll just have another commercial break. Heart of Doha, where history's about to be made. the heart of Doha, where history's about to be made. the heart of Doha, where history's about to be made. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Asian Snooker Championships of 2024. If you've just joined us, it's all been one way for Pankaj. He has absolutely ran away with every game. It hasn't been close from his opponent, but one thing is for sure, he knows he has to play well to get back into this match. Nice. 
nice opening red. Didn't land nicely on the black, but it's okay. Containing safety from Pankash will be suffice. I often look for changes in players over the years. I've done many finals with Pankash in, as well as tournaments as well. And one thing I have seen in his game, in his armory, as I call it, determination is so important. So another great red here into the corner. Playing them very nicely. In fact, he hasn't missed one into the corner pocket. So he's very consistent. But he has got a weakness in his game today. The easy ones are the hardest ones to pot. So as long as they're not too easy, he'll win the match quite easily in his mind. He knows that the easy ones are too easy to miss. See how well he's playing? And he's just leaving long reds because they're difficult. He knows he can pop them. He's trying to hold for the black here. He's looking for the angle here. Which red do I take to hold for the black? Nicely done. Coming back for the ball colours. The blue's out of commission. So he will try somewhere to get the blue back on the spot. But he's in content with just taking the lower colours. So that will indicate he won't get a high break. So he's working very, very hard out there. And his opponent can only look on knowing that this opportunity now is slipping away. So he's got a nice angle to hold for the black here as well. Yeah, he's just making sure. He gets it right. So a very strong performance in the opening part of the game. There seems to be like three parts of snooker game. The beginning, the middle, and the end. Unless you do a nice break of 60s and 70s. So he wants to make sure everything's going according to plan by making it look so easy. And I can assure you, it's not. They've put hundreds of hours of practice in to get to this stage over their careers. And of course, he's a great player. Look at the focus and the determination. He wants to do well, but I've not seen this part of his game over the years. I asked him in the interview, how does he feel about this tournament? And is this his tournament? He, he wants to win this one. We have another one as well. He has won many of them over the years. But you can see why. He's not taking any risks. He's going a safe way for break building. He's not taking any risks. And look at the beautiful cue action. Smooth, calm, focused, relaxed. It's a pleasure to watch. It's quite easy to commentate on such a great player. It's when it goes wrong 
but we're all human beings and the human errors come in and he's pushing himself out there he knows that this could be a frame winning opportunity oh it knocked on the door again but it's gone in just picking the outside reds off nicely and look at the score. 40 points already. So this black now, it's a bit of a key ball really, he's just looking to see where he wants that cue ball, he can park it anywhere to be fair, such a great player, so which way is he going to go, obviously he's drawing back, there it is, nicely done into the middle, very clever. So he's looking at the pink after this red and starting to get control of the game. Getting into the 50s very shortly. And that's how good he is, to be fair. He hasn't made any mistakes. Clinical, positive, focused well. Hasn't allowed his opponent to come in with anything easy. Oh, yeah, just, just gone in. Now, the pink. Will, will it go on the blue spot? Because that will help. And yeah, just, just having a look there. He's just having a close look to see where it's going to be respotted. And all the referees have done a fantastic job here already in the tournament. Yes, it is day one. I'm going to be here for many days. So that's come in very helpful. Pink on the blue spot. So this game is slipping away from his opponent. Very difficult to come back now in this game. It's just a joy to watch a master at the table. I have commentated on the World Billiards when he won the final. Incredible billiard player, obviously. But I have seen a difference determination is in his armory never seen it before yes he wants to win but i've never seen him so determined over 13 years of doing the commentary for his matches over the years well as you can see he's come high enough now to open the cluster and look at the break 71 70 break you know 71 points there's no comeback here three nil Very difficult to beat your opponent when he's playing in this type of form. That's another opening shot there once again. He makes it look so easy. Is he a contender for the title? Absolutely.
And after this match, we got a superstar from Qatar, Ali O'Bailey, will be playing on the four o'clock session, I have been told. So that's going to be a great game to see Ali come in. The IBSF World Snooker Champion. And he's queuing very, very well. But in the meantime, Pankash is on the runway, taking off in this match. It's going to be very difficult to catch him. We're just going to have to wait and see if his opponent can do it by trailing three frames to zero. And what a beautiful break. Can we see a century? 84. Plenty of points on the table, obviously, but the reality is you've got to get that century and it will be the first one on table one. He's come a little bit too high. He knows he's a bit disappointed there. He wants the sentry. So the pink to the middle and hold for the red. So he has to make this happen. Oh, he's missed it. Unlucky. But congratulations on an 85 break. Pankash is in control of this match. Let's wait and see what happens after the commercial. Above the heart of Dohar, where history is about to be made. Above the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. ...of 2024. If you've just joined us, it's been a one way for, pa um, for Pankash. He has got in control of every game. His opponent hasn't put him under any... under tremendous pressure at all we have seen easy ones missed and we've seen some great potting as well and the highest break was i think it was 85 in the previous frame it seems to be going all one way but one thing about it do not underestimate his opponent who's coming back with a great opening red sending the message to his opponent i'm not going to be giving in Very brave to take on the green there. Absolutely the right thing to do. Take Get some potting out there. And take on the long red. But for the fourth time, I've seen it in this game. The cue ball being cleaned. There must have been a slight kick on the green. But this long red. What I'm surprised... Why not take that long red on? You're 3-0 up. 
And the answer is, you're not giving any chances away if you miss it. Keeping it tight, keeping your opponent away from the table. Maybe that's another key to the game. Very interesting, waiting for a better opportunity. But when you're one of the greatest players in the world, you take those reds on. But he didn't feel comfortable to take it on. And that's what the game's about. If you feel comfortable, you can take that shot on. You just do it. Now, this safety play will favour Vankash because the, the, the tactical battle, he seems to be getting stronger. So, yes, the middle is available, but... Will he take it on? Or will he play safe? And Yeah, he's taking it on, you see. He waited for a better opportunity, and he's got one. And the blue's up there. Available. And there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is another opportunity. Surely, break building is available. Just going to have to wait and see. This green is so difficult. There you go. But where's it gone? Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> but that green is missed. Then gone into the other pocket. And then all of a sudden, with that red mist, and Cash has got an opportunity to take it on. That is an incredible shot. That is so difficult to hold for the black. He's made it look easy. And it's because he's got confidence. He's trying to get another big break going. He's got the red to the right, uh, to the green pocket. Got the red to the middle as well, but that's a bit risky. But this red to the green pocket. Let's see if he makes it. It knocked on the door, but it didn't go in. So he has has he left anything in the cluster there? Can you see anything? Yes, there's the red to the corner. Very difficult. Because he's going through the cluster. But he's missed it. Oh, the cue ball's being cleaned once again. I've never seen in all the tournaments the cue ball cleaned so many times in a match. Never seen that before. So chalk must be sticking to the cue ball. The good news is, I don't think there's anything that's a, uh, for his opponent. I don't think he's left anything easy there. Could have been a lot worse, so the safety is to put it, the cue ball on the balk line. Well, 
wanted to come over more, but has he left the red to the middle? It's just come past. What a shot! What a shot that was! After the misses, and you pull out a shot like that, that is incredible! Well done! This is attacking snooker, ladies and gentlemen. We are witnessing a comeback with determination. What a lovely uh, atmosphere to see this happening. It really is. I'm really enjoying this. Does he take the double on? Oh, will he go for it? Yeah, he looked at the double, by the way. He is going for the double. What a game we are witnessing. What a comeback if he makes this red. He's got it. But where's the cue ball? Oh, dear of him. He is trying so hard out there. Believe me, the determination of this match is incredible. He's taking the pink onto the right, into the green pocket. This is a great shot if this goes in. Has he got it? He's done it. What a shot that is. Yeah, well, even our camera crew are looking at this. What a performance we are witnessing. You're three nil down. And you're pulling out shots like you're in the first frame. No fear from this young man. As we watch now, the shot to nothing to the left corner. Yeah, it was a shot to nothing, but he's okay. So congratulations. Even though those few shots, it just shows, ladies and gentlemen, the determination of what he can do. Yes, the reds to the corner, but well done. Great, great performance he put in there. We saw a glimpse of his game. And that has put pressure on Pankash. Knowing his opponent is starting to pop. He will take this red on, I can assure you. He is going all in on this red to the corner. He needs a bit of luck, but where's that red? Is it creeping down to the middle? Slightly. Got a bit fortunate there, but he is going all in. And Cass just apologised for the good fortune. But in any sport, you've got to have good fortune and misfortune. No matter what game you play, you need that good luck. Well, he didn't... Wow! Did you see that? <laughs> I don't think he went for the middle. He didn't play that. He did try to get the cue ball in behind the pink. But nicely done anyway. And that's why I don't understand the shot, to be fair. He's not sneaking the green, uh, the cue ball in behind the pink and come off the top rail. Oh, top cushion. He's going for the pot. Has he got it? Oh, he's missed it. Very risky shot, I'm afraid. Could have nicely come off the top cushion and gone in behind the pink. Made it very difficult. Well, things are happening. Another opportunity. Now this red to the corner. I don't believe it. He's going for the long red. How confident are you? 
Ja, ja, is... Yeah, it's a shame. He'll look back at this and say what happened. And it's confidence. He knows he can pop them. The cue ball cleaned once again. Now, I've often seen this in games. You get you, you 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 tend to attack and you don't get any good fortune, but sometimes you do. But does this red go past this red? Oh, it looks like it. It does. Yes, it certainly did. I've really enjoyed this match. I really have. It, it's just been um, misfortune, good fortune. An incredible potting, determination potting. We've seen a lot of this in this match. I thoroughly enjoyed it. As we watch the blue now go in, and Pankash will take the lead very shortly. But we has he has missed the easy ones. But this red. Yeah, he's, he's, he's held that black perfect. Look at that. In control. Back at the table. No risks. Just a joy to watch. ones are the hardest shots to pot we are back to this scenario how did i miss that it was too easy to miss straight black everything's missable in this game Ladies and gentlemen, what a shot that was. He's hit it at low pace and it's gone into the heart of the pocket. How difficult shot that was. And you can only play those shots when you're confident and you're feeling good out there. It's such a hard shot to play, believe me. Not easy just to roll that ball in. The length of the table. Now... This is another opportunity. Look at the points. There's only a couple points in it with all the reds in the open. There they are. And that has come out perfect. He wanted to be a little bit higher, probably be an inch higher for the blue, but he might be okay. The camera angle is deceiving as we hold. Yeah, he's looking at it. He's looking for a nice straight line for the for the red to the corner. Beautiful shot this is. There's the straight. Oh, he's missed it. The easy ones are the hardest ones to pop. A straight blue. And the cue ball being cleaned again. Now... Look at the line he had. He had a perfect line for that red. Three points in it. As we watch the red go to the corner. Has he got the angle? Yeah, he's going to draw back. I uh, screw back here. That is perfect. 
so he wants to get the yellow back on the spot he doesn't want to really take the brown on because he's going around the blue too much of a risk the green doesn't really want to move the green so the yellow is the formality he wants to keep it basic always remember when you're in front just keep it basic as well he's starting to take the lead now no high risks as we watch now the red go into the pocket and hold for the black now he has to be careful here he doesn't disturb the red too much oh he's played that perfect so the controller of the game is back again and that's what a master can do. We started to see glimpses of his opponent. But it's such a shame because I, I have to stay biased. But I like to say I thoroughly enjoyed watching some incredible potting and confidence building in this match. I really enjoyed this match. Pankash is starting to run away with it. 4-0. It... It would be fair to say that this game was in his hands of those opponent. Just slipped away. But it's been a very entertaining game. It really has. And uh, we have a four o'clock session as well. But in the meantime, this game has slipped away. And Cash, yeah, he will be disappointed. He wanted to come back there. He's looking at the score. He, he thought, he, yes, he's 25 on the table. Snooker's required, but he wanted to come back a little bit further, I can assure you. He doesn't want to... Oh, that's just knocked on the door. He doesn't want to give chances away, but this brown now will seal the frame. And we wish to say on behalf of Canterbury Federation, thank you very, very much for joining us. I will interview Pine Cash very shortly. So stay with us and hear what he has to say. But in the meantime, from all of us here, thank you for joining us. Bye-bye, everyone. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Asian Snooker Championships of 2024. It gives me great honour to introduce to you Pankash. Pankash, what is happening out there? Well, yeah, it's my first match and um, I'm just glad that I got through 4-0. Um, not my best performance, but uh, I played well in bits and pieces, but I think I still need to get it together. Uh, I think it's you know, the first time we're playing on these tables, so it's a little sensitive and... Uh, hoping to get smoother as the tournament progresses. Well, one thing, I, I've done many championships with you in respect to doing the commentary on your matches, many finals. I saw something different in your game today, determination. Have you done preparation for a, a new game coming in for this tournament? 
I'm not sure what different kind of preparation I've done, but I normally do my usual practice and try and work on my technique and see where I can improve in different areas of my game. Um, you know, long potting, cue par being some of them. But um, I think the table's playing fantastic. It's just a matter of getting used to it and maybe just getting a little more sleep. I think, you know, be be besides all the technical preparation that one can do, I also believe that it's important to get good rest and just be in a good frame of mind. And I think we've just arrived yesterday, so I'm still a bit, uh, you know, un not not un I'm a bit unsettled, but not fully acclimatized to everything. I think it'll take another day, and then maybe hopefully we'll get to see a better game from all the top players. Well, thank you, Ash. It's a great honour from Cancer Billiard Federation to have you here for the Asian Shooker Championships. Is there anything you'd like to say to your fans and family around the world? Um, well, just keep supporting, you know, the Indian players wherever you are, whichever part of the world. Um, and also, uh, kudos to the Qatar Billiard and Snooker Federation and the ACBS for putting on such a magnificent show. It's not every day that you get to play in top class conditions like these and, and great arenas like the one that we have here. And, and those who are playing in this tournament will surely vouch for the fact that this is, you know, one of the best and classiest venues we've played in. On behalf of Catabilia Federation, congratulations. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a four o'clock session. Look out, Ali O'Bailey will arrive. Goodbye, everybody. I the heart that I